Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain you about the association of rule mining and uh, how it can be found using the a priori algorithm in Vega. So first of all, what is association rule mining? It is used to derive the useful patterns or gain some knowledge from the user purchaser habits and uh, mainly it is used by the online shopping sites and uh, other universities to gain, predict the data of the customers of the students respectively and uh, it is done by using the a priori algorithm so first off the a priori algorithm this is the algorithm and uh, following these steps we can find out the support and the confidence level see if uh, this is customer one customer two and customer three and they all are buying different type of products from a shopping complex so customer one is buying milk eggs sugar bread second one is buying milks eggs cereal bread and third one is buying eggs and sugar so our aim is to find some association or correlation between the different item that consume customer place in their shopping basket so this is the general aim and uh, let's say these are the transaction id and the items purchased and using the a priori algorithm we can derive these all that if a pers person is buying bread it's definite that he will buy peanut butter and if a person is buying beer then we can say it surely that he will definitely buy a bread this is the formula to find the support and this is the formula to buy, uh, find out the confidence level and uh, a and b are the different items like uh, previously we had taken the example of milk and cheese and bread butter they can be put here and we can find the values now using Veka go to explorer and uh, we can create our new data set here or we can use previously defined data set i have defined one data set over here this is the shopping data set that i made and here are my five attributes milk bread butter cheese eggs and the last one being the class attribute so First of the main thing that we need to see is that all of these attributes should be nominal. Nominal in the sense that they should be assigned a particular num numeric value to themselves. So the first one milk we can see here is nominal with uh, a 43 count of false and 57 count of true. Next one bread it is nominal as well. Butter it is nominal. Cheese is nominal eggs are nominal and the last one class that is always nominal so this is the data set i have created and i have taken a total number of 100 tuples that can be changed and i have five attributes here now i will go over here to the associate rule mining option using the a priori option that is already defined in Veka. now this is the main thing here we can see different uh, values and different variables and different values are assigned to them so first one being delta delta is the rate of change that is 0.05 this is the rate in which the processor will uh, this uh, vector will work and gain one uh, gain over the steps and the uh, next one is lower bound minimum support we can change it to 0.3 this is the support count here, uh, meaning that minimum van number of instances should be 0.3 for predicting a successful value that we are setting. We can change the value and set it to any thing. Like if you want a higher rate of uh, success, we can choose 4, 5.6, and other values. But here I'm selecting 0.3 and the metric type. Now there are different options. We will set that to confidence and minimum matrix is 0.9. Number of rows are defined to 10 output item sets are false remove all missing columns false and significant level is minus one and upper bound support upon bound minimum support is 1.0 so my algorithm will my backer tool will work between 0 0.3 to 0 uh, to 1 with the uh, rate of 0 0.05 that is our data value so different values can be selected but for now we'll work with this one to save it select okay. and uh, let's start 
all right so it's done now as we can see it has worked and uh, what this run information is generally a summary of uh, what happened what were the value that we set in the prior algorithm for this association rule mining and the relation number of instances were set to 100 attributes were 5 and plus 1 the class attribute and uh, associate model was used uh, meaning the all the rules that were set in this system were used now let's move on to this one minimum support is 0 0.3 that uh, and the minimum metric was 0 0.9 and the number of iterations that were performed in this cycle were 40 so let's move down All right. so the size of set of large elements is 11 and the size of set of large elements in the next iteration was 13 and the best result found were only one in this case and we can see the x that are true values remember first of we set the values to false but now they are changed to true 47 values of x that were true and the class they were matched with class and this value came out to be 47 and the confidence value was 1 and uh, conversion rate was 13.63 let's perform another iteration and this time let's just set the lower bound minimum support to 0 0.1 ok so now as we have set the parameter of the lower bound minimum support to 0 0.1 we can see that the best result found have increased because as the minimum bound support value will keep on increasing the number of uh, result will be automatically become less because in a larger data set, it is easier to find more number of results rather than in a small data set. So, again minimum support, uh, this time we set to 0 0.2, sorry, instead of 0 0.1. And the minimum address and the confidence level was 0 0.9. Number of cycles performed this time was 16. Last time it was yes, 14 were performed. And this time we can see the more number of item sets are derived here size of set of large item set l1 is 12 next one being 44 and the third one being 16 now the results as we can see in the first result the 47 value which came last time so it will came at this time because the minimum support value was decreased so obviously this one will come next one is the class and x this is just the reversal of this one because it works in the way of association with mining as if a is deriving b then we can say that b also can derive a it works in that way if and only if next one is milk and eggs next one is bread and eggs next one is butter and eggs and similarly we have found 10 result with the mattress level more than uh, 0 0.9 and so we can say that out of the data set we created uh, it is possible that if a customer is purchasing in that way that we already defined in the data set we can predict these values to be true that if someone is buying bread he is definite that he will buy x with it for sure so in this way this a priori algorithm works in our weka and uh, it can be used for different type of uh, other algorithm for classifying cluster and other values but for now we have just used it for this one and uh, that's all for now thank you